Happy Thursday, print fam. It's about 10 o'clock. Today it's gonna definitely be a short one. I just finished going over some emails that I wasn't able to get to today because I was in Idaho. And now I've got the banners that I printed last night that I need to get cut. I'm gonna see if I get a text message back from someone that I sent to get some clarification on an order. And then I'm gonna go to bed. So. Hopefully we can hit the 11 o'clock club tonight. Today is Thursday, so Bob usually comes over, but he texted me and said he doesn't love me and he's not coming over till tomorrow. So let's get these banners cut and hopefully go to bed. It's gonna be a short one. All right, print fam, it is now 10.50. I'm gonna call it a night, I'm tired. I got the grommets put on these banners after I cut them gonna leave them on my porch for the customer to pick up tomorrow morning and then yeah that'll be it so quick work day I'm tired from traveling to Idaho spent about uh, six and a half hours in the car a bunch of time in meetings and then got home spent a little time with the family did a little bit of work now I'm gonna go to bed I deserve to go to bed early as far as did I meet my goal? I did not. Sad. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This one is probably a little boring. Maybe I should spice it up a little bit here. I had a question the other day about um, getting stickers on rolls versus sheets versus individually. And frankly, I have found that customers either want what they've had in the past or just what you give them. Most of the time they're not picky unless it's for a specific thing. And in that case, I'm usually clear of, hey, this is what my price includes. If you want me to come down or you want me to provide them in a different manner, then it's gonna be extra because of the time involved with it. And I let them know that I can do it for you or you can do it. But if I do it, then obviously I need to be paid for my time. So usually I can set that expectation with the customer. They're fine with it and it ends up turning out just fine. I have some that they're great with sheets because they're just sticking them on stuff themselves like shipping boxes or other things versus other people want them individually because they're throwing them inside of a shipping box and they wanna give them to people. So it just kind of depends on the application for the person and what they're doing. So. Again, I feel that it's mainly geared towards people want what they've already had or kind of what they're used to or what they're told. Um, someone was having problems with, um, kind of in the vlog a day or two ago when I had the banner that got scratched, um, wondering what causes that or why it happens. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you. So this is the printer. This is called the curing chamber or curing unit or something. Anyway, right here, this path is where the vinyl travels. And way up there, let's see if I can stick something in there so you can see. You can see that it kind of goes straight up and where you see the light is where it flattens out. So. What happens as the vinyl is coming out from the top on the flat part, it will lift up and scrape the top of the curing chamber. So if you don't feed it out or if the vacuum is not suctioning right, then it will cause it to lift, which then causes scratches. The other question I got was related to up here. Oops, let's go turn the printer on. Oh well. Um, up here where the print head comes out, it'll scratch kind of up here. And it's a similar thing, except it's lifting right here, which is causing scratching. So usually in that case, I recommend that you just make sure you feed some material out because it's gonna add some weight to it so that it will force it to stay down. So, okay, let's get to the other questions. All right, another question was what type of media do I use for stickers? And I have switched to the HP Prime Gloss AG from 
LexJet, um, thanks to the recommendation of Derek with Alvalu Designs. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, it's down below. Uh, I used to use the Brightline 5651, which I feel is a good vinyl, but the HP from LexJet just cuts a lot better. It's a lot cleaner. It doesn't get stuck like I was having issues with the Brightline Media. Let's see. Someone's asking why the Toshiba printer? I think I covered this in yesterday's vlog. It is going to be a dedicated envelope printer. So the three trays at the bottom are getting special cartridges that will hold 60 envelopes a piece so that we can print envelopes. Bob has done a great job and sold um, our services to a customer that does a direct mailer every 45 days and it's 4,500 pieces. So we've got to be printing 4,500 envelopes every 45 days. So it is a printer dedicated to that task. There are other printers that are better suited to the task, but this one is more affordable for our current situation. So it makes it easier to attain and have right now. In the future, I might get one of those printers. Those, the printer that I'm talking about are the Oki envelope printer or the Zante. And I'll have links to those down in the description as well. But again, um, the price on those is a little higher than I want to spend right now. You can get a used one for a fairly decent price, but I'm just not ready for used again. I'm having too many little issues with the Rico that the next printer or printers that I buy will be new. Um, I bought the HP Latex new. I haven't had a single problem. Plus, frankly, it came with better training because it was new. Um, that's kind of the main questions right now. Um, I'd love to do a full Q&A video, so maybe down in the description of this video, ask whatever questions you want, whether it's related to the print shop, how long I've been doing stuff, me, my family, whatever. Let's do like a Q&A, AMA type thing. Ask him about me too, or if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them as well. Uh, ask him about Bob, I'm sure Bob would be happy to answer any questions you have about him, so it's kind of, you know ask away it'll be it'll be kind of fun we all three of us the darren team can answer questions for you so ask those questions down in the comments and we'll get one recorded and post it up on maybe like a sunday video or something so okay thanks for watching guys really appreciate it thanks for subscribing if you haven't already you can hit that thumbs up which helps too love seeing that thanks cam for editing the video you're awesome Bob, thanks for ditching me today. I'm going to bed early. See ya!